In this video, we'll take a look at excluding components from the section scope of a broken out section view. I'll start by creating a broken out section. So the first thing to do is sketch a closed spline shape for the shape of that cut. Now here is where we get this window. The following list of components will be excluded from the section cut. So using this blue selection box, we can head over to the Feature Manager design tree and start selecting items that we may not want to be affected by our section cut. Um, now I'm going to clear these selections for now and we'll just proceed with no components being excluded from the cut. So we'll see what the result is and then I'll show you how you can add components to this list later. So we'll just hit OK with it blank and then we'll specify the depth of this section um, about 95 millimeters. I always like to turn on the preview as well. So with that preview turned on, we can see that the section view is cutting back through the housing and it's actually cutting into this needle assembly. So the entire needle has been um, kind of cut through so that we can't see it anymore. And then I also want to point out above that that preview checkbox enables this yellow line in our other drawing view to give us a visual preview of where that section is being taken from. So we'll hit OK and finish this view. Now, like I said, we have cut away the top portion of this needle assembly, um, and maybe we don't want that particular component or subassembly to be affected by the broken out section cut. So the way to have this excluded would be to uh, bring back that section scope window. We can access this by expanding the drawing view associated with the broken out section. Right click on the broken out section and head to properties. From here, we can go to the section scope tab and this brings back that same window from before. I can now navigate to the tree, expand the assembly and look for the particular subassembly that I don't want to be affected by the section cut. We'll add that here and click okay. And what we see now is that the broken out section cuts around this needle assembly and leaves this particular subassembly untouched.